Okay, uh, so today's how-to video is uh, we're going to be working on brackets. Now this is uh, the a bike called uh, Ulcer Breakfast. I started the build years and years ago and I'm uh, now getting around to finishing it. It's a it, it went through a few incarnations because we originally had it turbo and intercooled with a uh, and it was a blow through carbureted deal. Well, it had a bunch of problems and oil leaks and what have you. So we, we tore the thing apart and my brother Mark was going to wrap it up because all the fab work was done. Well, then he did a bunch of work on it and I had a, a two into one stainless steel exhaust on it. Well, he, he lost the exhaust system. And so you're going from two exhaust ports, you come together and then you have to land on a turbo flange. Well, if you've built, if you've done tubing work and exhaust work, you'll know that it's, um, it's kind of difficult to, uh, to go from point to point. Like if you're starting from an exhaust port and you, and you run out into the wild, you know, you can, uh, use the curves and what have you and end at a random point. Well, when you have to go from this port to this port to a collector to this point and everything has to land and lock down without any exhaust leaks or anything, it's, um, it's, it's hard to do. But anyway, so he lost the exhaust system. Uh, I think we still haven't found it. I don't know where it is. So I had to build a whole new exhaust system and this bike is kind of cluttered and there's no room to put anything. And uh, so I got everything stuffed in here, new exhaust system built. Well, then we decided to go with a, a electronic fuel injection because that's just gonna be way easier to tune. So I was able to, um, modify this uh, little round plenum here that goes into the intake and uh, the, the throttle body is back here. Well, these things are, are just, uh, have rubber boots that hold everything together so they can bounce around. And when you're adding boost to it, it you know, the fear is always that, you know, the throttle body is going to either drop or hopefully not pop off. <laughs> That'd be uh, exciting. So um, what I'm going to do is there's with everything in the way here, there's no room to, to run a, a intake brace down to the engine and normally like on a shovel head or evolution or whatever they have a bolt at the bottom of the cylinders that goes through that you can just run a, a, a little bracket down to well these iron heads it doesn't have that so what I did is I had to I machine these little pieces and they go down into this uh, cover and I had to step them down to, um, to fit in there. And see, I was doing this out of aluminum. And uh, so I spent a little time on the, on the lathe and I made these, well, this and this threaded slugs, which will ultimately, because I've got this piece of aluminum bent in place here, so it'll, it'll get, this slug will get welded on,
this threaded slug gets welded on to the plenum. And then this one here will get welded onto the bracket and a bolt goes in there, an Allen head goes in there and that'll hold the whole thing together. So this one here I've got mounted down below. I left this one off so I could show you. This aluminum is, uh, it, you can't tack it. You actually have to weld it and add filler rod with the TIG. So that makes it kind of hard. And uh, you can, it's it's just hard to get nice welds. It's It's difficult to do. That's why I think a lot of times people just use like stainless or um, regular mild steel cold rolled to make brackets. But I wanted to mess around with some aluminum and uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, it, it's just a different way of doing things. And I think the payoff is that you can sand it down real nice and polish it. So anyway, I'm going to be working on also breakfast for the next couple weeks because we're trying to get it done um, and uh, and I don't know it'll be kind of an exciting bike because it's got all we I welded a new steering tube onto it and adapted a GSXR set of forks so it's kind of got sport bike technology on it but it's a chopper it's a rigid um, so it's pretty lightweight um, it'll make boost and uh, hopefully you know the engine will stay together and uh we'll be able to we're micro squirting it so it's going to have uh, it'll be all mapped and uh and we'll try and get as much power out of it as we can but it as it is it's a fairly lightweight bike and uh and it's got you know if we can get some good horsepower numbers out of it it should uh really get up and go um my son and I are working on a, um, a way to, he's going to edit some videos so, you, so these will start turning out a little bit better. But in the meantime, I want to keep my page going because these videos are getting a lot of views. So, okay, we'll talk to you later.